the problems we're trying to solve with our work are often very complex. They have several causes and different effects. There can be many other organizations from different sectors trying to solve the same issues. But what's the best way to reach out to these people and make new or existing relationships work? In most cases, working with people from different sectors helps to build a common understanding with like-minded individuals and organizations. This can bring together important skills and resources. Creating a network of partners who have similar goals can help achieve more at local, national, and even international levels. It's important to take a wider look at an issue and try to connect the different groups that are involved. But it's not easy. Partnerships usually develop through a number of different phases. By recognizing these individual stages, you can identify where you currently are in the process, where you would like to be, and what you might need to do in between. George works on a small water and sanitation initiative in Burkina Faso. He and his team work to improve poor people's access to clean water and sanitation services. The region suffers from frequent floods, but also persistent droughts, which impacts on the environment and people's livelihoods. George realizes that he needs to find a way to bring new low-cost technologies to the area. Technologies that can provide rural households with an adequate water supply system. George doesn't have the money or the resources to make this possible. He and his team will need international assistance. They use the Building Partnerships Worksheet as a template to map out a way to begin effective partnerships with organizations that can help. George and his team agree what it is they really need and what they want to achieve through the partnership. Do they need expertise or do they need funding? They gather information about relevant organizations, ask people from the region what will help them most, and speak with technology companies. The team identifies a list of organizations that share a similar goal or may have the capabilities and resources that can help. They think about how they would explain their purpose to these people, how they would get their attention and encourage them to work together. Over the next three months, George and his team work through each stage of the map to help them make the partnership stronger. They have been successful in building their network of partners and getting the support they need. They can now discuss how the partnership would work in the future. Together with their partners, they agree how and where the money and support will be most effective in making the initiative a success. Since George and his team are at the early stages of the process, they are happy to have reached the implementation stage. They think of how the project would flow and what the milestones will be. Through this exercise, George has been able to partner with key organizations. Together, they have set out the objectives and principles that they share. There is a long way to go, but he knows where he is on the partnership pathway, where he wants to get to, and what he needs to do to get there. The Building Partnerships Map is a useful framework for you to use throughout your project. It can help you locate the stage you are at and the people that you need to work with to make change happen.